Hey there, welcome to Violet's DIY Style. I'm Violet. I hope you consider subscribing if this is your first time to my channel. And also, don't forget to click on that bell button so you can be notified every time I make a new video. So today, I'm going to share with you how I made these beautiful DIY farmhouse home decor pieces using Dollar Tree items. The first one we're going to be making is this tray. And what I did was I grabbed one of these larger round mirrors from Dollar Tree, of course, and I am also using four of these uh, packages of tennis table balls. And what I did was basically just hot glue them onto my frame. Now all I used was my hot glue gun, but I do recommend you use some kind of permanent glue because I did notice after I spray painted everything together, they did get kind of um, wobbly. So I would suggest for you to add some kind of permanent glue um, along with your hot glue gun for this project. So what you do is just basically add your glue from one, two dots, one for the frame and one to attach it to the ball right next to it. just like I did right there. And you just continue gluing these all around your frame. Now you can add as many as you like, um, depending on how large of a frame you want around your mirror or your tray, depending on how you're going to use this. I just wanted one ring of these um, full tennis balls right around here. I had thought about making two layers, but honestly, I didn't have enough of these table tennis balls. But um, I would suggest if you do, um, at least eight of these packages of the tennis balls, because like I said, I did use four to wrap it around one time on this larger one. Now they do have smaller mirrors, exactly the same as this one, um, if you wanna make a smaller tray. I just went ahead and decided to use one of these larger ones, of course, because I wanted a larger size tray. So once you're done adding all of your rings or your balls around your mirror frame, just make sure everything is nice and dry and then spray paint it any color you like. I'm using the Rust-Oleum Camel Color. Then I ran ahead and grabbed my mirror and grabbed some of this faux uh, wood shape or style contact paper from Dollar Tree and just drew out the mirror and then cut it out. Now you can add this contact paper right onto the mirror if you like and use that for your tray. But I didn't want to waste that mirror because I know I can make another DIY with it. So what I decided to do was just cut out my contact paper and then grab some poster board that I had. As you can see, I had two extra pieces and I just easily taped it together. And then I'm going to spray it with some um, adhesive spray and then add my contact paper to my cardboard. But again, if you don't want to do this part, you can just add that contact paper to your mirror or even spray paint your mirror if you want to do it that way as well. And with this contact paper, sometimes it's a hit or miss. Sometimes it does come really sticky and you're perfectly fine just adding it onto any surface. But I've noticed that um, with time, it does kind of bubble up. So if you do add some adhesive spray or even maybe some Mod Podge um, onto whatever surface you're going to add this contact paper, it stays nice and secure and in place forever, basically. So once you're done, just trim off everything. You can add contact paper to the back if you like, um, but since this is gonna be a tray, no one's going to see the back, I decided just to go ahead and leave it as is. So I do sand this contact paper down just to give it more of that realistic wood look. Then I just popped it right back in like the mirror. So next we're going to do the farmhouse window. And what I did was decide to get six of these five by seven mirror, uh, picture frames, I'm sorry. And these have like this, I want to call it tropical farmhouse style, uh, maybe even like a nautical rope style frame around it. And then it has like a rustic gold color around that as well. And I thought it was perfect for the style that I was going for and the colors that I use in my dining room. So I went ahead and left it as is. As you can see, all I did was remove all of the backing and also the little, um, sticks or frame holders that come with your frame. But if you don't like this color and like this style of the frame, you can easily spray paint it or paint it any color you like. So I did remove everything off of each one of these frames 
um, and again I used six of them for the size that I was going for So once you're done, remove everything. Now you can get some permanent glue and I'm just using some E6000 and my hot glue gun in order to attach each one of these frames. So I attach three at a time. That way I would allow each one of these sections to dry for a few minutes before I continued with the next step of this project. So just squeeze everything together, remove any of that excess glue that does um, tend to seep out when you do push uh, two frames together and then go ahead and attach your third one again all I did was add some E6000 and hot glue to attach my third frame once I attached this row together I just went ahead and set those aside and did the same thing with the other three I love making these farmhouse window frames. You can make them any size you like, as many rows. Um, for this one, I did want to keep it a little bit smaller than what I would typically make, but um, you, again, you can make them any size you like. So once you're done adding all your glue and attaching all um, the rows that you decide to use for your window, then all you're gonna do is attach everything together. So I ended up attaching all of my first three row with my second row with the same process of using both glues together and I just squeezed everything together and just allowed it to dry for a few minutes then I flipped it over and decided to add some popsicle sticks basically at every edge and then I also I added my glass back into my windows now this is completely optional you don't have to add your glass back into your um, what I call farmhouse window you could leave it as is but I wanted to give it that um, a different look and add the glass because I do decide and think about maybe adding some different pictures or what have you in between each one of these so I did want to go ahead and just make sure I added that glass um, to have it there just in case I do decide to add any decorative touch in between each one of these and like I said, once I was done adding the glass, I went ahead and grabbed my popsicle sticks and I just decided to make this more sturdier and strong by adding a popsicle stick in each air attachment where I attached one frame to another. And I just wanted to do this just to make sure it was nice and secure and not wobbly. And also I do tend not to add or um, hang some of my window frames so if I do want to lean it on something I wanted to make sure it was nice and strong and sturdy for it to be able to uh, not bend when I do lean it somewhere if I decide to do it that way as well but again I do add some attachment and rope just in case I decide to hang it as well so once I was done I just flipped it over and I decided to add a little extra touch and make it more I guess you could say farmhouse rustic style by adding some nautical rope as a frame all around all my frames. And I just attached this nautical rope using some hot glue and just glued it um, in its different areas to glue it onto my frame itself. You guys let me know if you're going to add this nautical rope onto your farmhouse window frame or are you going to leave it as is. This is something that I had never thought about before. Why? I really don't know. Um, I had never just thought of adding this extra nautical rope touch and I really like it because it gives it more of that. I want to say it's like a rustic farmhouse or even boho. Um, it could be easily boho maybe by adding some black spray paint or painting everything white. Um, I think it would give it more of that boho look as well or even farmhouse but um, I like the way it looked with these darker colors and then that pop of lighter nautical rope around it so I left it as is but let me know should I paint it a different color or should I leave it as is or what are you going to do with yours? And don't forget, if you guys have an Instagram and do 
any of the projects that are or I am I inspire you to do any of the projects you guys don't forget to tag me on Instagram or any of my social medias I have all my links down below and I would love to see you guys um, creations and what you do or how I inspire you to make the different projects that you make around your home so once I was done I just went ahead and cut everything off and make that edge nice and crisp and clean but you can wrap it around as many times as you like. I simply wrapped it around one time. Added some attachments in the back and there you have it. This is the way it looks all complete. So I hope you enjoyed both of these DIYs today. If you did, again, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. And also, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, you guys stay blessed. Bye.